Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is Alex, and this is the Ramble. Yeah, and we go until midnight tonight here in the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, up to uh, Massachusetts we go. And there once again, the lovely and attractive Stephen Kravitz. <laughs> How you doing, Steve? I'm doing all right. How about you? Yeah, Steve N. Right. Steve N. There's an N there, yes. Didn't we talk about this earlier, that when, when mothers always wanted to you know, talk to their kids in a harsh way. In other words, to admonish you. Right. They always it was use, Stephen J. Oh, it was in your case, because they already did the Stephen no matter what, right? Right. Right. <laughs> a lot. What's the J for? J A Y J. Oh, just J A Y. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, that's nice. Okay. And what's the derivation of Kravitz? Where is that from originally? Uh, Polish, Russian. Mm -hmm. Somewhere around there. Really? Okay. Your parents weren't uh, immigrants at all? No, my grandparents were. Okay. Because my, uh, my father was an immigrant. My mother was second, first generation American. In other words, her parents were immigrants. Right. So my, but my father was an immigrant. My father came from Germany. And, uh, and Poland, I think, as well. Right, um, right. Uh, so th those were the two places he was from, and uh, so. Uh, but you're but you're like you're like second generation uh, American, right? Right, yeah. right. Good, right. good for you. Good for you. Good for me. Good for you. What the hell? Who cares? Right. So what do you think about this uh, Dominion Fox deal? Okay, let's uh, talk about it. It, it happened uh, when we play this. It happened a couple of days ago. Right. Uh, I'm disappointed in Dominion in that I would have liked to have seen them go to the mat. Right. Uh, but right. I, I understand why they didn't, because in cases of most suits like this, if you can settle, you'd rather settle than spend the money on the court case. Right, All right. Okay. Secondly, it was in the best interest of Fox to settle, because they didn't want Rupert Murdoch testifying. Right. Because right. he would have thrown the whole case into into Dominion's hands, you know, with what right. he, because he's already been deposed and in his depositions he was coming down against his own company. Is that right? So, yeah, saying that that uh, what happened shouldn't have happened and it was wrong, and right. that if he was a little more hands on, he would have made sure it never happened. Yeah. You know. Right. Sure. Yeah. Sure, he would have. You know, all they were thinking about was the bottom line with their bottom line users. Right. You know, right. and and uh, what happened was is that when they called the election for uh, Biden in Arizona, that's all she wrote. That, that all of a sudden people were stopping watching Fox, and that is was that, right? that was that, that was hurting the bottom line. So they, after that, did everything they could to prevent the bottom line from falling under them. And uh, of, uh, you know what they were doing is they, they were starting to lie like crazy. They were making a case out of this Dominion right. thing, and there's still another company that's still suing Fox for even more money right. for their voting machines. Right. I'm trying to remember the name of the company now. Uh, th so that suit is coming up. So you know, uh, uh, but you know when you look at at, at how it turned out. They didn't get an apology. Right. They didn't get a, a statement of, <clears throat> we did wrong. Right. Okay. Uh, which would have said to their viewers, hey, don't believe anything we say. Right. Right. But they wouldn't do that. Well, that was, I think, an important factor. I think, yes, I would have settled for the money, but I also would have settled for an apology. Right. Me too. And an admission that what they had done was wrong. And they didn't do that. Um, right. Why they didn't do that, I have no idea. 
You know, the I think the reason why you want to settle is because when you go into court, you never know how it's going to turn out. That's you, right. you can think you have a slam dunk case, and then it goes to the jury, and it comes out another way. Right. If you don't have to take that chance, that's fine. But it should have included the apology, which right. I, I think Fox was adamant not to give. Right. Because what would have that said to their viewers? You know. I mean, who's well, it's been decided that what they were broadcasting was not news. Well, who's the fake news now? Right. You know. Uh, but no, they, it, here, here's the interesting part. You're going to love this. Over at Fox, you know, this whole thing was a big story everywhere you went. It was even on the late night news, whether it was CBS, NBC, ABC, or whatever. Right. Do you think anything was mentioned about it on Fox News? Probably not. Nothing. Right. Zero. Zilch. And uh, the local Fox owned stations briefly mentioned it. Briefly mentioned it. Like towards the end of the newscasts. Right, Things right. Like As that. a throwaway. As a throwaway, yeah. So, I mean, their viewers still don't know what happened in that trial. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. So how are you? How are you serving your public? You know, I mean, news is this is big news, you yeah. Know? Uh, and I, you know, I really felt though that Dominion should have held out for an apology, as well. Yeah, that's what people are, are upset about the uh, Dominion settling was they didn't get the apology. Yeah, I don't. I don't fail them for 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 settling. Hell, I've been through. You know, I've been through uh, uh, court cases. I went through one for for nine years. Right. And we kept always trying to settle. We didn't want to go all the way to a court, a court case because the minute you go into court, there's where the real money starts getting spent. You know, you got right. lawyers sitting there eight hours a day. Right. You're watching the clock, but they're not. No, no kidding. You know. Uh, and it, it really, uh, you you want to settle if you can. But you'd like some kind of also, I, I think they needed an apology. If, if I were their legal team, and I think they would have finally folded to that rather than go to trial. Right. Because I don't think they wanted to take chances. Because just because they were suing for, what, two, 1.6 million, billion, billion dollars, um, just because they were suing for that doesn't mean that a, that a jury wouldn't give them more. Right. You know. Right. Now, let's face it, the pockets over at Fox are deep. They put out almost $800 million in this settlement. Is that right? Which amounts to 20% of their yearly income. Gosh. So, you know, they're, they're not going to hurt financially. No. But you'd like to hurt them in the most important way, and that is them having to admit they were wrong that they right. were they were spreading lies and they should have fired those four hosts well they weren't going after tucker carlson oddly enough he wasn't named in he was going to be put on the stand right but he wasn't named in the suit hannity was named in the suit um uh was it laura ingram i think was named in the suit um, uh, what's her name? Uh, the uh, person over the financial woman. The, they used to call her the money honey. Bartiromo. Maria Bartiromo was named in the suit. And, of course, um, let's see here. Uh, Rupert Murdoch named in the suit. Right. You know. Um, but these were all people who, oh, oh, then Lou Dobbs, who they fired. They fired Lou Dobbs. He was a sacrificial lamb. But he was the guy who was most involved in perpetuating the lie. Right. Yeah. And they were, they were saying, the host would say one thing on the air and then text that this is just nonsense to friends and family. Well, it, it, here's what happened. What, here, here's what somebody said. I was watching the news today. The reason why they settled like they did and they didn't ask for an apology is that most of the information about those texts and everything already got right. out to the general public. So it was common knowledge. So right. it, it, if they didn't get the apology, that's on the record anyway. You know, as, okay. par as part of the uh, part of, of the stuff that was going to be put on in the uh, in the in the in the suit itself in the trial. Uh, right. 
But you always want to avoid a trial if at all possible because you're, it, it, while you may think you got a slam dunk case, you that don't necessarily. That may not be the case. That may not be the case. Yeah, uh, uh, a jury might say, yeah, "We want, we want them. Uh, yes, they're guilty, but they only have to pay them a uh, hundred million." You know, so right. so that being the case. Uh, you don't want to take those chances. You'd like a slam dunk, and if they, you know you're going to get half of what you asked for, that's pretty good. Right. Because you were asking right. for a lot. Yeah, no kidding. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm somewhat disappointed that Dominion didn't at least ask for the apology and demand that as part of the... Yeah, but when do they apologize? At 3 o'clock in the morning? Right, and who apologizes? And who apologizes, yeah. Uh, how, right? pra how practical is an apology, you know? Uh, right. Unless, unless you require them to change uh, their motto to we lie all the time. Right, right, right. Yeah. But you know what, what gets me, what gets me, you know, I, uh, foxes are always going to exist. That right. kind of thing is always going to exist. It's our job as the American public to reject that. And when you find that Fox has the largest audience in broadcasting. Is that right? Yes, in, in, te in news broadcasting, you know, among those news channels. Right. Uh, incredible numbers. I mean, they're up to, they, sometimes they beat the networks in prime time, you know. Um, but that being the case, um, you have to question whether the American public is doing their due diligence. I mean, I'm not going to watch Fox because I know they lie, and I don't right. watch MSNBC that much because they lie too. Right. You know, uh, they. But the kind of lie they did at Fox was un, 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 unquestionably terrible. Right. You know, uh, they besmirched a company who. You know, has employees to pay and a reputation to maintain, right? And and just said, oh, these machines were fixed. Well, that's that's, that's you know, that's, that's not the truth. It's not the truth, and it is going to hurt the company's bottom line if they don't sue. Right now, if they sued and won, nobody's going to think Dominion machines are, you know, fake. You but, would think that. You would hope that. But there's still people who believe Fox News. Well, because that's all they watch. Right. You know, Marjorie, my wife, wa watches nothing but MSNBC. If I put on Fox, because sometimes I'll put on Fox because I want to see what they're saying about a particular news item. Right. How they're how they're parsing it, you know. I turn on M uh, Fox and she goes, turn that off, turn that off, you know. And I'm going, but you're only watching MSNBC, you know. Right. You're, you're only getting their take on everything. Because every, yeah, every, yeah. every time I tune into MSNBC, it's Trump bad. Biden, terrific, you know. Even Rachel Maddow. Even Rachel Maddow, you know. I mean, uh, they they all are touting that it's not that they're de necessarily Democrats, but they're they're definitely anti-Trump, and so oh, every yeah. everything is parsed in that direction. Now, quite frankly, I would say there are bound to be some good things about Donald Trump, and then I thought about it, and that's a stupid statement in and of itself. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, but I mean, why are, why aren't they reporting? They they don't have the balance either. I don't see that many Republicans on MSNBC now. They may have a hard time getting them, is what the problem right. might be, but. But I don't. I I just don't see that the balance there either. I mean, I will have to say I appeared uh, for quite a while. The main uh, I was. <laughs> you're gonna love this. For at least ten weeks on MSNBC, when he was a host on MSNBC, I was a regular on Tucker Carlson. Is that right? Yeah. Um, he wasn't as. Uh, he was right wing, but he wasn't as right wing then, and they got rid of him because he was right wing. Okay, uh, but he he treated me really well. You know, I never met oh, yeah. him. I never met him. He was over in New Jersey, and I was in a little studio in uh, in uh, in Manhattan. Uh, but you know, we we went back and forth with each other, and he had me on every week. And he liked me being on, you know, and I had that left wing approach to everything. Right. And he had me on with a right winger, but there was some balance going there. That was in the early days 
when MSNBC actually had balance because they didn't know what they were. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, but, uh, uh, and then, uh, let me see here. Then also, when I uh, wasn't doing Tucker over at MSNBC, the other people that primarily always asked, asked me to come over on a fairly regular basis was Fox. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and I... Um, you know, I, they didn't. They allowed me to say what I had to say. You know, hmm. and and I found a lot of balance going on there because I found that the shows they put me on had balance, or right. that balance that I, as a real heavy left winger, was happy with. Right. And you know, I was in makeup once. I remember at Fox, and the woman's making me up, and they say, "Oh well, and what do you do?" And I said, "Well, I'm a broadcaster. I'm over at Sirius XM right across the street here." And she said, "Oh, uh huh." And and uh, what, what 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 political side are you on? And I said, Well, I'm a big lefty. And she said to me, Boy, you're in trouble. <laughs> really? <laughs> she said, You're in trouble. You're here. You're at Fox. You know. Right. And I went, Yeah, I guess so. You know. But I never felt that. I always felt I was fairly well treated over there. You know. So y y you could you couldn't. And also, you know what I liked about them. I'd go What's over that? to MSNBC, and over there it was all on the cheap. I sat in a studio with a robot camera looking in my face, right? Talking to a guy who's in a studio in New Jersey because it's cheaper to do it in New Jersey where they had big studios than to do it in Manhattan. The right. Reason, the reason, by the way, interesting little sidebar here. Uh, do you know why? Um, why? MSM, why NBC had studios in New Jersey? No, why? Because in the early days of TV, when they would gay, say, get a show that was from California or whatever, and it was on Kinescope, or they were shipped film to play. Right. If they shipped it into Manhattan, there was a tax. But if, oh, you, yeah, right. if you shipped it into New Jersey, there was no tax. So what kind of tax did New York have? They had to just on film coming into New York. Yes. Just film film in general, yeah. So rather than pay the tax, they ran all their film programs out of New Jersey. And that's why they had a studio in New Jersey that Tucker Carlson was working out of. Right. So but that that's a that's a little bit of bonus history you got here today, folks. <laughs> But anyway, uh, 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 you know, he was always over over there, and I was in a studio. Meanwhile, I go over to Fox. There are three cameras there. There's a right. guy behind every camera. They're not robot cameras, right? You know, and I went, you know, for an organization that's like right wing, they certainly like to keep the unions happy, you know, and and there were and. I found that to be true almost everywhere I went, that uh, there were getting to be robot cameras and so on, but not at Fox. Oh, at really? Fox, there was somebody running every camera, and I see them today on some of their shows. They'll show the whole studio, and there's somebody right. behind every camera. And they don't, so have, they don't have to do that. There are robot cameras now. Is that right? Yeah, I mean... I never heard of such a thing. Most of your local news, they're robot cameras, you know. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some guy in the control room just operating them. And um, that, that would disconcert. I, I don't know. I mean, I haven't done television in years, but that would sort of throw me off a little bit. Right. Having robot cameras there, you know. I don't think they could do that in film. Well, they, no, in film, it's a different story. In film, you need a camera operator. Right. But it's a different kind of camera operator now. Very few of the cameras that are used to make movies have film in the camera. They're all digital. Right. You know. So you don't have to have somebody there, you know, okay, we need, need another magazine loaded into the camera. Right, right, you know. right. Remember, that used to take a while. Yes. Yeah. You know. They don't do that anymore. Plus, because they're digital, they can just keep rolling. They don't have right. to, you know, they, you don't, you really don't run out of hard drive space. And, and if you do, you just flop in a new hard drive. Right. But that's maybe five hours later. Yeah. So. Right. So 
Um, yeah, all the, the business has changed in a lot of ways, but over at Fox, they're still using camera people. <laughs> you know, which I, 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 kudos to them. You know, yeah, no kidding. keeping people working. Yes. But um, so that's how I feel about Fox. You know, and about that case, I just I'm I'm disappointed the Dominion didn't settle. Who do they want to have apologies from? The hosts. I think then they probably would want an apology from just the network as a whole. Okay. Uh, you, you know, uh, I'm sure that if they did it on the air, they could bury it somewhere, or they right. or they could do it really fast or whatever. But if they did a general apology in their in the final thing, like we're sorry for what we've done, right? We apologize for it. It was wrong of us, and it was egregious, and blah 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 blah. And then they make that statement. It can be a prepared statement, written statement, whatever. Then that would have been in the press today. Right. Fox admits they were wrong. Right. You know, and well, that, settling doesn't that admit they were wrong by settling? Settling, you know, they can always they they after it was all over, they they went out publicly and said we still this shows that we're we still dedicating ourselves to the finest of journalistic standards. That's kind of what they said. Right. So they never really had to say, hey, but we were reporting all this wrong and lying about it to make money right. because we right. we're making this up. We're making up the news. We well, see all I have, pe people don't understand. They misunderstand ratings and advertising. You can have low ratings and lots of advertising. Right. But ad, what ratings do is establish the price for that advertising. Oh, okay. Okay. So what you're selling on is what we used to call in the business, I think they still call it in the business, cost per thousand. How much money is it costing me as an advertiser to get a thousand eyes? Right. So if it's like, you know, 15 cents per thousand views, fine. But if I've only got 15,000 people, then I'm only going to be able to charge 15 cents for that commercial. Oh, is that right? Right. But if I've got a million viewers, well, now it's much more I can charge. Right. For those, because I'm simply selling eyes. Right. And so what they were worried about is the eyes would go down and therefore their bottom line would go down. Uh, but Fox is nonsense. Fox is nonsense. They're all nonsense. You know, they all have an axe to grind. Right. And they're all there for profit. And, That's right. You know, I, I don't find MSNBC reliable. You know, I wish really? I did. I wish I did find them reliable, but I don't. I don't believe them because uh, even though they're telling me what I want to hear. Okay, right. but I've never been that way. Don't tell me what I want to hear. In fact, tell me something I don't know. Right. You know, or something I don't want to hear. Hey, you know, Biden was wrong in doing this. You know, I, I was on the uh, uh, political channel at Sirius XM, and I think one of the main reasons I got let go from there after nine years, they should have decided by then that I was okay uh, <laughs> after nine years, was because I question some of the practices of Barack Obama. Oh, really? I, I, I said, you know, I mean, I'd vote, I'd vote for him, and I, I basically I like him, but here he's wrong, and here he's wrong, and he's doing this wrong, and, you know, because my, my problem with him was is that uh, he was pretty much an amateur president, you know? He, he'd just become president right. uh, after being in the Senate for only two years. Right. Okay. But I, so I was always questioning him, you know, holding him to account for things he did. Sure. And I'm sure that's what got me out of there. It's because I wasn't rooting for the team. Right. As it right. Was. You weren't telling the, uh, the company line. Well, no, you, the company line or kissing the ass of my audience. Right. And making them happy. Uh, they, some of them would write this. How can you have this guy on your right left wing channel when he's so right wing and I go I'm not right wing I'm very left wing and that's why I'm questioning Obama's practices right you know uh, but uh, you know you, unless you root for the home team man you're in trouble you know and that's why I think about it to this day that I'm out of there 
Right. But anyway, hey, listen, nice having this little lecture I could give you on the history of broadcasting, <laughs> and how advertising is, and so on and so forth. And I'm sure that helped the public in general as well. Do you feel fully educated now? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go out and take the test. Okay, then get lost. We'll talk okay. to you next week. Bye. Bye. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, wait. I got to turn on the lights. There we go. I knew I didn't do something there that wasn't right. Okay. And let me uh, let me just uh, bring myself up here a little bit, a little bit uh, more. Uh, yeah. There we go. See, I mean, I do everything here. I run the audio, I run the video, I run the da 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 And, uh, you know, as I get older, I forget how to do these things. So, you know. Anyway, uh, listen, this is, uh, this is a Thursday already. And we have one person waiting to talk to us. Quality person, but one person waiting to talk to us. And, um, uh, by the way, if you ha I never mentioned this. But I would like it, and I would, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to me. Uh, uh, just go down right there where it says subscribe and push the subscribe button, okay? And uh, then you, you don't get anything for it. It's just that I, YouTube thinks better of me, okay? They'll probably demonetize me less. Somebody said, if I wanted to de not get demonetized a lot, maybe I shouldn't use the name Alex Bennett. So maybe I'll use another name for this show. Won't call it Alex Bennett's anything. Because every time I have something with Alex Bennett in the name, uh, they seem to demonetize it. I don't understand. Anyway, uh, let me uh, just admit the one person that we've got waiting here. Uh, let me see here. There we are, and uh, there he is. There he is, Charlie Wallace. Hi, Charlie. It's just you and me. Well, it must be. Well, it must, no otter like me. No otter like me. Oh, that's the first one you've had in a long time that didn't have a scientific bent to it. You know. Well, I got it at the uh, Georgia State Aquarium uh, on my on my uh, vacation to Atlanta. Several years ago. Yeah, are otters supposed to be cute? Yeah, I guess. Cause they're always floating on their back, right? Well, yeah, they do all kinds of tricks and stuff, and nice, mm -hmm. nice little gymnastics and. What we're going to yeah. do for the next hour, since nobody's calling, uh, Charlie and I are just going to talk about otters. <laughs> Works right. for me. <laughs> you don't have a problem with that, do you? Yeah, I love otters. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm not a big fan of otters. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is all. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, what do I know, right? Yeah. I'm just an otter hater, that's all, you know. <laughs> How can you hate those little animals? They're so cute, you know? I know they are cute, yeah. Yeah, they just kind of... people keep them as pets. Do they have them as pets? Oh, I'm thinking of... Uh... You're thinking of, of uh, I know what you're thinking of. Weasels? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, well, yeah, it starts with yeah, ferrets. Ferrets, yeah. Yeah. Ferret. I don't know why. You know? I mean, yeah. ferrets are just, they're weasely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all they are. Why are they do, rodents? Aren't they ro rodents like I, mice? I think, you know, in <laughs> some states, I think like in California, I think it is illegal to have ferrets. I wow. believe to own a ferret. Maybe here comes uh, here comes uh, 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 Alan. Maybe he knows. Is it, it, it Alan in California? Is it illegal to have ferrets to own a ferret? I don't know. Oh well, so much for you and what you know well, about California. So I know a lot about California. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> a lot. There's a lot of wild animals you can't have in California that yeah. you can have. You can't even have uh, snake or alligator skin boots here. Well, oh, wow. I, I can see that. Because what you're encouraging is the killing of alligators. Yeah. But yep. wait a minute. Don't they kill people? In Florida, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know. Uh, but anyway, in case you just joined us, uh, 
this hour is devoted entirely to the discussion of otters. <laughs> uh, and we're doing that because nobody really was calling at the beginning yeah. of the show. And we feel that if you don't know about otters, don't call us. Okay. It's only four minutes after the hour. Now, Charlie, since you seem to be the fan of otters, since you have one on your chest tonight, <laughs> what do j otters eat? I think they eat fish because they swim around in rivers and stuff. So I think they eat fish. Do they? I I could Google it. <laughs> what, 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 what do otters taste like? <laughs> Chicken. Chicken. Of course. Yeah, yeah, it tastes just like chicken. Everything tastes like chicken. By the like way, chicken. we're having a horrendous thunderstorm oh. here. I mean, the booming lightning show, everything. It's just Yeah, but also you're, you're supposed to get in really hellish tornadoes in your area up around Waco. Yeah, I mean, it's like I'm. you may get a real scoop tonight when, later on when the tornado hits. Uh, so I need more people to call just in case he loses his power. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. yeah but that's be sure, a... if you call up, you know everything there is to know about otters. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Texas is grid is pretty shaky, so we could lose power any any second. Well, now. that's because you went out and didn't pay for one. You <laughs> yeah. Know, you made your own. Yeah, that's and, that wonderful government. And tell me something that's made in Texas besides rockets. Right. Yeah. Aren't Teslas made here now? Are they made there um, now? I don't know. Yeah, I think we got a big plant in Austin here. Oh, yeah. oh really? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, but by the way, here comes Tony. Uh, I wonder if Tony knows what the topic is tonight. <laughs> uh, they're, otters are carnivor carnivorous mammals. Oh, really? Oh. So they eat meat? Yeah. So what so would they, they, they probably eat mice and all kinds of birds, whatever. Yeah. They could they'll, eat, they'll, wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. That that they could eat people. Yeah. Their <laughs> yeah. diets consist of fish and vegetables. No, um <laughs> fish in in invertebrates. Yeah, so they do eat fish too. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Uh did you you didn't hear what the topic was tonight, Tony? No, I, I made uh, split pea soup though just now. Just no, finished. No, no, no. That we weren't no. talking about that. Though. We're not talking yeah. about split, split peas. Soup. Except otters eat split peas. Do they? Oh, yes. otters? What's making you talk about otters? Well, we yeah. we're this is our topic tonight because oh nobody like was calling at the beginning of the show, and you may notice what tone what uh, Charlie is wearing. Remember just, Wild Kingdom? Wasn't that like about the animals? Remember that on Sunday nights? Yeah. I remember that you know, yeah. It's amazing how you can change topics, Tony. <laughs> well, I figured it might segue. In. Is that what you used to say? I mean, no, you're, right? you're, you're trying to drive us away from talking about otters because, be honest, yeah. you don't know a goddamn thing about otters. I don't otters. know anything about otters. Are they, maybe, okay. are they in a zoo in the well, Bronx? Now we're going to hear from, from Alan, who's getting all the otter information he can, oh, he can yeah. get together. They remind me of a seal. Are they close to the seal family? Otters? I don't know. Could I don't be. Know. Go ask a seal. Go ask a well, seal. Was that Shamu? Remember Shamu? And uh, wasn't he a seal or no? No, that was a. Uh, that was a. Uh, that was I remember, a, as a kid going, we took us to see that, that, that was a killer. Was Shamu killer was a killer whale. whale. Killer whale. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh, otters can live up to sixteen years. Wow. Oh really? Well, screw Pretty them. Cool. Well, they might make good pets. Yeah, yeah. Like you got to put them in a the tub. But you see, <laughs> you got to have a big aquarium for them. If man. I got an otter, and I knew he could live sixteen years, I don't like any animal that's going to look at me and go, "You know, you're probably going to be gone while I'm still here." Where's the food, Lee? Tell me where the food is left. <laughs> Who do I call if something happens? <laughs> yeah, something happens. So anyway. Uh, well, and, uh, I guess, uh, let's see here. What kind of, uh, oh, we aren't getting great numbers with otter talk. No, mm -hmm. I'm afraid not. No, oh, damn it. I thought, go I, back I, to I split peas otters. again. I made homemade soup. Mm. Oh, God, are you going to bring How something? much spam is oh, it? sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I actually had homemade ham. I used the leftovers. Oh, nice. yeah. well, Marjorie makes uh, makes pea soup. Oh, I, you, like, you like it, right? It's good. You like it or? He didn't I'm say you like it. I love her pea soup. I absolutely. I would marry her pea soup. 
<laughs> I would have sex with her pea soup if it were possible. Tomorrow he's having pea soup. That's Watch him get up in the morning. <laughs> that's how good My mom her... always tried to get well, us to see, eat Marjorie, pea soup. Marjorie, Marjorie doesn't before. just make pea soup. You said she remember she's make very good soup. She said, remember, I remember on the radio yeah. show. You said, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, but she doesn't make a certain amount of pea soup that she and I can eat for dinner, or that we have some people over and they can have, and maybe there's some leftovers for tomorrow. She yeah, makes enough that. pea soup to last yeah. for three weeks. Oh, okay. that's a lot. I only use one bag. I use she's one got bag. These, she I, she's got these pots. Oh, I, if I had a chance, I'd go get one of them just oh, to show you. That they use in, that yeah, I believe it. That they oh, use in the like, army. That they use in the yeah. army. Yeah. Come and get it. <laughs> if Phil got on the show tonight, he would claim that most otters are Republicans. <laughs> But now you said his name, and you know he's what's probably listening. Happen. You know what he told me. Happen. He bought a new computer, a nice new souped-up computer, yeah. which I told him not to buy. I know he told me that. <laughs> no, he spent too much money for it. Because if you go online to YouTube and look up this computer, and then the high version of that same computer, mm -hmm. it says buying that high version is a waste of money because the value that it gives you for the extra money is not equivalent to what you just get with like the one I have here. He you got it from B&H. He, he had the one up to get his... it, well, He had to one up me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's very basically it. And I, you know, so I, I forced him to waste money, you know. He gladly likes the things on yeah. No, but, but I mean, you know, I mean, I, I believe me, I studied these computers. I mean, and, I know you guys love the computers. And I decided, You're like, no, I, I, no, I use, look, I use this as a tool, okay? Yeah. Per, per, you know, uh, an absolute tool. I, I use it to do this program. I'd use it to do my video editing. I use it for everything. And it's a terrific machine. It's never had less power than I need. It is a speedy, spiffy computer. I also checked it against the higher priced one. And I would have gotten the higher priced one if it had been that significantly better than the lower price one. But it is not two times or even three times greater than the one that I have. Okay, so I you shouldn't agree. waste your money. Most people online say, "Do not waste your money buying the expensive one." It's it's the thing Apple did to be a sucker's bet. If he people. didn't buy the expensive one, he would have had to send that money to Trump. No, <laughs> if he could have spent that money on other stuff, you know, yes. maybe a new lens. On oh, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Take her out to dinner. He's very generous with faith. Well, yeah. you know, I mean, the, the point is, is that it was a waste of his money. And, uh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's speedy and I'm sure it's fast, but it's not twice as fast as mine. You know, oh, yeah, he's going to call up now. And, and for what he's got to do, you know, he doesn't have to do with it what I have to do with it. You know, he only does. He says, well, I need it. I need it because I'm doing Zoom calls. Go, doing yeah. Zoom, yeah. With Zoom calls, you can use a goddamn iPad. Yeah. yeah. He said, well, I didn't need it for my photographs. Well, you can do that with this thing just fine, you know, with the cheaper one. You don't have to get the most expensive one because that may not be the best one for your buck. I mean, yeah, it's a little more powerful and so on, but it's not double. Next of, year, it'll oh, be half off. Oh, well, you know what? Yeah, this is the part that's really going to drive me nuts. <laughs> Any day now, they're probably coming out with a faster chip in it, the M2 yeah. chip. Uh, it may be coming out any day. And next year, uh, the beginning of the year, they're going to come out with one with the M3 chip, which is even so much faster. I mean, what's, I'll have to what, buy it. Well, what's, <laughs> yeah. what's amazing about Apple is that you could actually buy one of their Mac minis with an M2 chip in it, which they come now with an M2 yeah. chip. And it's almost as fast as this thing that I've got here, you know. Yours, it's, and they certainly, the studio, it's certainly, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah. The studio. Yeah, it's a Studio Max, you know. Huh? Um, uh, but I mean, when they add that M3 chip, this thing is going to just, you know, go crazy. But um, the very few people out there, if you go online and look at YouTube, are buying the one that Phil bought for exactly the reason I'm talking about. You know, but he won't listen to me. You know, oh no, I've got to spend it because it. I need because I need this this is incredible amount of computing power yeah. in order to do a Zoom call. Yeah. <laughs> you never know, but Elon Musk might call him for help with his um, rocket launch. His rocket launch. Yeah, yeah, he might <laughs> kind of bar. Yeah, you can wrap it in carpet next yeah. time. Yeah, 
Uh, Bet that he's installed his car with yeah, Elon Musk. By the I way, come looking in the corner. <laughs> by the way, that story today, I, I loved watching it on the newscast and so on because it went, oh, it failed, you know, it crashed. It, you oh, know, what it? happened? Well, he's, Elon Musk set up, the, set up his super uh, rocket, the one that can take a whole buttload of people up to space and materials and so on and so forth. It even has windows in the front. Window? Uh, yes, wow. window. The big yeah. window. You can blast yeah, off. No, you, you just yeah. So anyway, him. anyway, uh, he yeah. he's this is the first time he's sent it up, and and everybody is going crazy. Oh, it's it crashed and it didn't. You know, well to begin with, it was meant to crash. Oh really? Okay. That was for starters, and I saw oh. an interview with a guy who was an astronaut and the head of the space station, and he said, "Well, what did you think of this? Was this a failure?" He says. Quite the opposite. This was a major success. He said, why? He said, to begin with, it flew for two and a half minutes. It got back almost out of the atmosphere, okay? Wow. And all it was meant to do was to turn around and come right back down and splash down in the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Oh, or maybe in the Gulf, I can't remember which. Hawaii. Went, uh, yeah, huh? And Hawaii. Outside Hawaii. Was it Hawaii where it was supposed to splash down? Yeah. Yeah, then it had to fly a little bit more. But really what happened was, is that uh, they proved that thing could go up. Mm -hmm. They had the power to get it up there. The problem that happened wasn't with the ship itself, it was with the rockets, because about four of the rockets failed. And so they couldn't yeah, maneuver. Yeah, they said, uh, s uh, s c seven of them failed on, no. No, four of them, were, uh, I, I think, failed on launch, and then as it was going... Seven of them failed on the way up, yeah. You could see about two more going. I mean, they've got like about 40 engines. Yeah, there was 33 of them total, and oh, really? a wow. total of 10 failed by the time it got up to where they, they destroyed yeah. it. So they can fix that, you know. Yeah. They can fix that. But this is how you go through this process of learning how to send yourself up with large payloads into space. You're going to fail the first couple of times. I mean, look at how many times uh, Musk failed with uh, SpaceX. Yeah. Getting these things to come back and land, okay? He had to do that, I don't know, 20 times before he got one that finally landed. And once he did, they've gone 186 flights landing those, bringing those things back and landing. So, I mean, that's what the whole process is. It's a learning process. And uh, it was it was a pretty good pretty good deal I think all the way around, and it's not a failure, and uh, it, it 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 oh the uh, also this guy uh, I'm trying to remember his name now he's he, he really does a lot of stuff online with uh, the, you know with the space station and so on he's a favorite with all the fans because of his ability at. At, at, at drilling down into the into the space situation and making people understand it, okay? And uh, I'm just putting my watch in here to charge. Um, and he, he's very good about that. And he said that he honestly believes what they did is they blew up the rocket. Oh. They did. They yeah. confirmed that. Yeah, they confirmed oh. it? Okay. He, yeah. he, they, they pushed the, the self-destruct button or the... Uh, uh, they called it uh, termination. So, yeah, they, they called it uh, something they, they like name uh, flight it. termination button or something yeah, like that. But anyway, they 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 were the ones who blew it up, and they blew it up because it was starting. Because to Because when fail. you got thirty three engines going like that, and one or two or three, and, and I'm sure Charlie can tell you about inertia, uh, the physical. You know, when something's going up like that, and you got two engines over here pushing this way, and three over here pushing that way. It's the same thing in the drag races. If mm -hmm. one you got eight cylinders going, and if one cylinder goes out at three hundred miles an hour within yeah. ten, you know, three seconds, it's going to push the car this way. I would, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's what was happening. It was starting to spin the the, the yeah, rocket, and they didn't want it to come down and crash. Right, into they something. didn't want it to go start shooting yeah, so down, blow, blow it up up there. By yeah, the way, there's exactly. a guy who wants to get on named Jack Hoff. Does that sound like anybody? Uh, that sounds Jack? bogus to me. That sounds bogus to me. Yeah, Jack Hoff. Well, Jack Hoff, you know, I'm going to say goodbye to you now. And thanks for probably a friend to bend over. Thanks for <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
um, but uh, anyway, so I mean, I. Uh, but what I hate is when I watch the news and they're going, "Oh, and the thing failed. Oh, it's a failure for space. It wasn't a failure for SpaceX. NASA has never been able to lift that kind of payload." No. With a rocket off of the face of the Earth since they've been in business. All they're doing is still using their same old rockets. This is the one that's going to be able to go to the moon and, yeah. and bring a lot of materials to the moon. It's, it's, it, it, believe me, and it, give, them, give them six months to a year and they will have it all figured out. You know. Let's see here. We have uh, Jeff Phoenix, Jeff H. Phoenix in Arizona. <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. That's hilarious. Oh, oh, this. Oh, you know what they're doing tonight? They're putting a lot of them up now. A different name. For yeah. Go, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be like a ton of them. So I'm not going to answer any. Four people right now are in the waiting room. Now it's five people. Let me see some of the names you're, you're using. A big crowd now. Derek, JJ Sosloman, sure. James Jackson, James, CJ Becker. Boy. This show has suddenly gotten popular. My God, yeah. All of you. Oh, now we got we got six of them. Mm. Wow. Uh, and uh, they're going to see how many. Oh, now they. Then all of a sudden they all disappear. Yeah, <laughs> they they give up on it. Uh, you know. Uh, Think of all the porn we're missing. All the porn we're missing. Yeah, I should put them all on at once and let them have like a fight with each other on who can, you know do the best uh oh now we have let's see here what's this one i love these names they come up with they come up with some funny names not really no <laughs> don't uh -huh. don't encourage them oh this one's in russian oh wow. boy russian, russian. must then be the Charlie. Bad, he reads russian oh what is it putin no i uh, uh russian huh hmm. uh, no that's not greek that is russian yeah i know what russian looks like now we're down to four people. See, so now down to three. Now down to now up to four <laughs> again. Well, let's not give them any 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 fun times here. So we won't recognize their existence. Anyway, and it's probably all the same guy. You know, what I don't understand is, don't these people have a life? Yeah. No. You know, don't they ever get laid? You know, I guess not, because they got to watch all that porn they send us. And it's always gay porn. If you're going to send us porn, send us something. Yeah, you know, send, send us the good stuff. Yeah, the good stuff. You know. Then just send us uh, the next time we're seeing a fisting scene, have Marjorie Taylor Greene be the recipient. Yes, exactly. I wonder if I get demonetized for that if they're, uh, if they're uh, 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 algorithms. By the way, Sorry. I got, I, I got uh, demonetized uh, yeah. yesterday uh, for a show that had no d dirty words on it. None, none. Uh, and uh, let me see. They demonetized me today. I did this thing with Marjorie. No, they didn't demonetize that today. Uh, and then you used a four-letter word in that one. I heard did, you. Did I really? The word work. No. <laughs> no, no, the S word. Oh, the Said S word? The did I yeah. really? Oh, I think that's kind of allowed. Oh, okay. You know, uh, it's funny. I... I, I always wondered about four-letter words and why we even consider them bad. Yeah. I mean, look at all the trouble we go to to prevent people from using this language on the air. They do a, an Academy Award broadcast, mm -hmm. and what do they do? They've got all the, 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 the seven-second delays going and everything, and one guy whose entire job is to sit there with his finger on the button in case somebody That's says... The guy in the chat. Can you please accept me into the Zoom? I'm Sadie N word. <laughs> and is <laughs> fa, fa Sadie N word, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. really? Oh really? Okay. Let me see here. Is that uh, is that what they're trying to let now? you in, Sadie, if you're you bring Bend over with you. Oh, I uh, <laughs> I gotta put that in the chat. Let me see here. Let me see. I can do something about them. I can not not remove them. Uh, but uh, report them. Uh, report them. Well, I don't want to report them because I have to fill out stuff. You know, that's too much trouble. Uh, let's just uh, 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 let's just put the, uh, the user in timeout. 
Why okay. don't you send all these just, weird people to Tony and let him deal with them? You just pull this comment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll say, I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, to all these people, just give us your address and we'll send you some of Tony's pea soup. Okay? Absolutely. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And it's, with a little coffee in a it. Penalty. That'll keep you yeah, yeah. They'll never sleep. <laughs> they don't know whether to shit or stay up all night. <laughs> now, the other big piece of news tonight was that Alec Baldwin, they, it uh, looks like they're going to uh, not charge him. They're going now to he'll call him. in. Watch. Who? Oh, Alec, Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. fake, the fake Alec Baldwin. <laughs> one guy just signed <laughs> in as I got women. Wait a minute, one guy just signed in under the name I got good porn. <laughs> 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 we should put him on. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's Let's on. Make sure it's straight <laughs> porn, though. Uh, although there are two people now. I got good porn. It must be the same guy. Uh, anyway, you people have fun out there. Have fun. We're just having a little chat here. Goes till midnight, and then the good talk show comes on. You know, so um, <laughs> I just I just love some of these people. Anyway, um, where are we? Oh yeah. So what do you think about uh, the fact that uh, that uh, Alec Baldwin doesn't look like he's going to be charged? Is they going to drop the charges against him? I think it's right. I yeah, do too. too. Yeah. I do too. Uh, Accidents happen. My union came out in favor of him, okay, uh, saying that, you know, talent should not be held responsible for something like that. Even if he's a producer of a picture, should not be held responsible for that. He didn't have anything to, you know, he didn't have any, he was told the gun was safe. So yeah. he had to, I mean, if I were an actor and somebody handed me a gun and said, the gun has been tested, been looked at and everything, it's safe, it's not, not going to hurt anybody right? Then I assume that's true, that's you know, right. and that what's in there is a blank. Um, okay. yeah. And I have to re rely on other people. Well, if I then, then pull the trigger and somebody gets killed as a result of it, is it my fault? No. No. No, it's 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 Tony's fault. You blame me? No, yeah. I can take it. Yeah, you can take it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> We'll we'll start we'll rent you out as the person that people can blame for something. Yeah, just blame me. Yeah, just, <laughs> I don't even leave the house. I just so trust Alan, mm -hmm. Alec Baldwin says he's going to continue the movie Rust, but he's going to mm -hmm. only serve Tony's pea soup. Oh, okay, yeah. No, he, <laughs> that'll make me go crazy. <laughs> no, they've gone back to filming it already. Yeah, I was going to say, I heard it on Tenzin. Wins. Is he actually filming? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this film, it's easier this, to make a movie that way if they film it, Tony. You know, the problem with this film is is that it wasn't meant to be a major film. As a matter of fact, they were only making it to, like, release it for a couple of days so people could get the tax benefits off of it. You know, no. it, or they were going to sell it to Netflix or somebody like that. This thing wasn't going to make it into as a major motion picture going into theaters, mm. you know. But now they may do something like that because everybody's going to want to see it. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to want to see. You're not going to see him shoot the gun that killed the person when he did it. Bill Meyer said that he's going to call in so admit him. So admit him? Yes. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you sure that's Phil? <laughs> you know, I don't know. Now that I said it, let me let me just uh, check it he out. Got, here. He got a message on uh, a DM on it. Let me see here. Oh, oh, there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. Okay, that was a way to get. That was a good way of getting in there, Phil. Yeah, somebody, everybody, text me if you want to get on the show. <laughs> yeah, let me see here. Oh, let me get rid of these. Oh, excuse me, folks. I just did something. I want to get rid of these people. I passed on that you were going to get on a show and let them in. Yeah, right. I just did. That was the that was the intention of the text. Thanks. Yeah, that was the intent. Well, I mean, it, that's a way of getting around it. There are a lot. Oh, they, they've all. Have they hung up all of them yet? No, I don't know. Let me see here. There we go. Um, uh, no, there's still two of them are, you know, are on. What if it's a group of them that all get together and say, hey, let's all call Alex? Well, at least I'm getting some. Get uh, listen, listen, at least compared to the beginning of the show tonight, I'm getting some calls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, that was if they heard you say that nobody was calling, so they, they all called in. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it's one guy doing it, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't think there are that many people who can't get laid tonight. You know? 
Okay. Well, there's six here now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. But uh, anyway, so, you know. Oh, God. It's, uh, yeah. So, uh, you know what I got to do? Uh, I got to, they want me to make a tape. They want people to make tapes uh, about Shecky. Talking oh. about Shecky, just a little, little, little tribute to Shecky for this this thing that's coming up called Sheck Fest, uh, which they're doing. It's, it's going to be his memorial. It's going to be at ten yeah. o'clock in the morning. I got to get up at fucking ten o'clock in the morning, uh, and um, I uh, uh, so I got to come up with something to say about him, and I can't come up with anything. You know. I mean, Ask Chat GBT. Just speak from your heart. <laughs> no, just, just uh, talk look, about. Look, things I can speak from my heart, but if I'm going to talk about Shecky, to speak from my heart, it'd take me about two hours. You know. Yeah. You Go know? up with the door handle from the car, the window handle. Yeah, yeah. that's a good story. That's kind of an inside That'd be a good joke. starter. No, uh, I just, can tell the story about how I broke his door handle. You can do that from the inside. Yeah. And that I finally figured out how you could solve the problem is by opening the door from the outside from the inside by rolling down the window and then pulling on the handle. Well, you know, you could tell maybe how you met, how you first met, or no, would that be more personal? Yeah, how they, they, they were they, look, They're asking me to boil down 45 yeah, years gonna say, that's yeah, into probably a minute. That's, yeah, that's kind of... Every know. morning... Uh, Tony calls me and tells me, you know, they got a hold of me from uh, Shecky's uh, 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 funeral thing. And uh, you know what they said? Don't come. <laughs> so. I'm not getting invited. I was joking with you. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure if they knew you existed, it, you, would be, you would get yeah, invited. I mean, but nobody, I'm sure they don't know you Bill exist. Meyer off your Facebook profile. I, I you think, I think in many ways, except for certain people there, they barely know I exist. No. You know, because there was this, he, Shecky had this, uh, I talked about it, this is this many tiered level of his life. And he had, for instance, his family. Okay, that's one tier. He had the people he worked with at Letterman, that was another tier. Then he had all his movie people, the people he dealt with, you know, old movies and, you know, so on. Boom, that one was over there. And then there was a lesser group, of which I was one, which were his close friends. People that just knew him for 45 years and didn't stop talking to him for 45 years. And I don't know that the... Uh, oh, for instance, that the, the family people necessarily knew the Letterman people or that the Letterman people knew the movie people that he yeah. dealt with. So, you know, I mean, he, it was this it was this whole different levels of people. And I came in one of those categories that I think most of those people didn't know I existed or if they did, it was only because he talked about me. But, you know, can I say one thing, Alex? Yeah. On behalf of you, because you're here, but he talked so nice about you. We, we, I used to, we used to always like, he's like, it's kind of nice to know that he thought so highly of you. Like Alex is, an, I mean, I don't want to let it out that Alex is a nice guy because I know you have a stick. <laughs> but it's like, I kind of feel like that's even like, how can you even sum it up? Like you have a special friendship that others won't even have. You know what I'm saying? Like you'd always hold, look back on it. Like that's nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I mean, like sometimes yeah. when it's work, it seems like. They didn't know him like you did. You know what I'm saying? You're not impressed you, with that. You know, I, I never knew that uh, how Shecky felt about me. Oh, he loved you. No, I, can tell I, you I know that. But I, I never knew it because he never expressed it. He was never that way. He would never express that to me. Yeah. yeah I don't think he ever said, I love you. you know? No, he never would. But he, you, you could tell that he, when he would respond. He would yell like, when he would be like, shut up already. When I was going like, can't today, you'll be fine. Like. He was more asking about me than that. Like, he would never say anything else. No, but I mean, yeah. he he uh, he was not a touchy feely person, you know. That's yeah, like my brother. Yeah, he would yeah. yell at you like, "Shut up already!" Right, but 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 he was a great guy, and I always mm. knew that he would be there for me, and he knew I'd be there for him, and that's what really a friendship is all about, you know. Exactly. And yeah. I knew that. Uh, it, I mean, he often told me. He said, "Look, you know," he said, "You're out of work now. If you ever need any money." Just let me know, 
you know, I'll give it to you. I don't even want it back. I, you know, I got enough of it. I can give it away. And Move I said, that way with his friends. Yeah, I said, I don't want, I hope I never have to do that. Yeah. I said, but it's, it's, it's wonderful that you think of me that way. You know, yeah. he said, if you need a place to stay, you know, the wife kicks you out of the house. You can use the other room here. Yeah, he used to walk by your room. Yeah. He, That's yeah. Alex's He's referred room. to that as my room. When I used to walk up my coffee, he says, Alex, he's got a great room. You should take this room. <laughs> yeah. It's a great room. I used to get the rocket chair. This is a I, great room. I used to yeah. tell him, unfortunately, Shecky, this is the room your mother died in. Okay. You got to put so, your own stuff in there to tell him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, he never, it's funny about him that he never wanted to um, uh, sleep in that room. I couldn't either, Alex. Because he said it was too noisy from the street. Yeah, but that's by the street, yeah. yeah. I couldn't, yeah, I can't yeah. stand, I sleep with the radio in the he, back of the house. He still slept in the same room that he slept in when he was a, when he was a kid. In probably the same size bed. It was like a twin, I think. I'm in the same room now when I grew up in the, in the first floor, in the back room. Yes, the but same you're room. a retard, okay? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, There's exactly. A big difference there. <laughs> Shecky <laughs> wasn't a retard. No, he's he a guy. I like when he yelled he used to do that. Brett, take a breath. <laughs> you're, you're, Tony, you're used to being locked in that room. For yeah, they only come to me when they want to know something. <laughs> Where's this? Where mommy put this? Over here, over there. Okay, you can go back now. I made split pea soup for that. I didn't think of it. Hmm? I, my came home, my brother came home with his girlfriend. I'm in the kitchen listening to 1010 10 Winds, making split pea soup in my uh, Jim Henson pajamas. <laughs> he said, What the hell is going on here? So and you're what? Home. My Jim Henson, but uh, my Sesame Street pajamas. Hold on a second. No, this no, is we really don't, we don't want to see them. Oh my God. Oh, oh geez. Oh my God. Here's Jim. Henson. I got him $12 on Amazon. I love Amazon, Alex. <laughs> I'll get back to so, you. Charlie, anything that goes up there, if you want, I'll, I'll get it for you. Al, you want a pair of pajamas? I'll send them to you. They don't make his size. You got to go to hey, Ahab the tent maker. Wait a minute. Do it for me. Do it for me. Size, uh, I don't know. What, what size? Gigantic. <laughs> no. What? Oh, I was talking about Alan. I oh, you want a pair of the pajamas? I'll order them for you. No, I'm okay. Thank you. You know, I mean, I just, I just like to have a pair to, I just bed. like to have a pair to drive Marjorie nuts. Oh, you, I'll get you a pair. You want the ones I have? Because we don't know. Sure, sure. Because, you know, don't like, I, I, have the, I have these that I'm currently using. Wait a minute. What size? I get you an extra large. They shrink in the wash, Alex. I got an extra large. I can't, I can't even. You can't even see them. I have to. But, uh, but let me get. I'm just gonna, gonna go back to the, the chair. chair. No, I'm not gonna step up on the chair. This chair. I'm kidding. This chair. I I'll look at my me. past orders and I'll. He'll be I joining can... Shecky if he steps I'm, up. I'm that kidding. Chair. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I'll order them for you over the weekend, Alex. Then I'll send. Then I'll send them over. Boy, son of a bitch. Hey. Uh, uh. <laughs> we have matching things. I was gonna. Which one, my, my brother. Well, I brought my brother superhero stuff and my niece and my sister. No, they but would, this would drive Mar they would drive Marjorie nuts if I had that would drive her crazy if she's thinking with those. Yeah. And if you said I got them for you, she'll throw you out. <laughs> yeah, what you know what would drive her nuts is if Tony gave back the silverware he, he took from the. Oh, I never took any. Tell him what I said, Phil. Remember? He thinks when you invited me over, I was going to take the silverware. I said they didn't have any, Phil. <laughs> the, the only reason he came to my house, by the way, yes. was I was having a party, and. Albert on the air said, I, 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 I'll invite you as my plus one if you'll come to the party wearing your footy pajamas. I actually have those too. And you didn't wear them. I didn't wear them. Shecky told me don't do it. up anyway. I did anyway, <laughs> reluctantly, with cookies. Yeah, with my mother made me buy cookies at Fortunato's. And then you brought oh. them to the party? Yeah, I got you the, the Italian striped cookies. Oh, they're so good. Didn't you say I, you took yeah. half of them back? No, I didn't take anything back. My mother said, you better bring something over. She thought you knew Johnny Carson. My mother doesn't know anybody. She says, how famous is he? I says, he's pretty famous, I think. She says, do I know him? I said, Ma, you don't listen to the radio that much. She thought you were Howard Stern at first because she knows I listen to you and Stern. She goes, hey, Tony, not really. I take, said, take a breath. Uh, uh, yeah, go get another cup of coffee, Tony. By the way, Charlie disappeared oh, because Alex, he, lost, he, see he what? lost his power. He lost his really? power. Yeah, well, they yeah. got those tornadoes just, going on. He just sent me a text. Well, I hope it's not a tornado. What do you think? He's a superhero? Well, I guess you can send a text even if you can't get on here because here you got to go through the internet, but texts go through the internet. But, but providing go... the internet is up in his neighborhood, he can. 
you know, talk about power. What was it, Mississippi? Or they had a was it Arkansas uh, yesterday or this morning? They had this terrible uh, uh, hurricane and Oklahoma. Uh, it wasn't Kansas. I mean, deep, deep no, it states. wasn't. I think it was uh, Oklahoma. Arkansas. Oklahoma. It was Oklahoma. Oh, Oklahoma City. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, they it really tore the place up, didn't it? Yeah, it was cold, Oklahoma. I suppose, but nobody could really tell. Yeah, really. Better living in California. Sorry, folks. Yeah, but well, they they're what they're having down in Texas tonight are tornadoes. Yes, and and Charlie's area is under a tornado watch. I have friends of mine that are forty miles north. I don't know if he's on a tornado watch. I know up near Waco there is the is the eye of the tornado watch up there, and Texas I don't think gets that many tornadoes that I know of. Do, do that again, Phil. Raise your hand so I can get a picture, a screenshot of that. That's a first. <laughs> hey, uh, what's his name? I, you know, I was sleeping. I got up at like 3 this morning. I couldn't sleep, and I had to work out this morning. Uh, and so when I came home, I just uh, I went to sleep. But um, Alan said that uh, you were uh, talking about the computer uh, that I got earlier in the show, and I was going to do an unboxing. Uh, we on, don't need uh, you to unbox it. Oh no! This is this is a good one. You, you see, I got the computer. Here's the box, right? Uh, why don't uh, you ju- why don't you just title it? Oh, that's the Mac Studio waste of money. Oh, look what they sent me! Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's not an otter. Kick him off. Yeah, he doesn't know what what our. You know, we do have a uh, Kevin. That's Kevin, me. you haven't contributed. Have you contributed to our otter talk? No, I haven't. Yeah, well, you know, we we started the show tonight by saying we were going to discuss uh, all otters all the time here. Oh, you know, Charlie was wearing a shirt that had an otter on. Here comes Wayne. <clears throat> here comes Wayne. Let's make sure Wayne is here. That's Wayne. Hi, it's Wayne. The real Wayne. Hello. Hello. Want to make sure that you know. You don't talk, you know, when you call this show, you don't talk a lot, but when you call uh, Jack's show, you talk all the time. No, not, not, not that much over there. Jack pays him by the word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, no, we were, we were talking about uh, uh, otters. Do you have any good otter stories? Uh, no, but I do remember uh, seeing a video up on uh, YouTube there where somebody had pet otters. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. So they make good pets, do they? Yeah, I guess so. I, I, I didn't see any, uh, any otters attack anybody. So, oh, okay. Uh, I, I, you know, they try to pull scuba divers' fins. Uh, down at uh, in Monterey, uh, there's a uh, dive site called Lighthouse, and uh, there's seals and there's otters out there, and they'll, they'll play with you and they'll swim past you. Sometimes they'll uh, try to grab at your fin. They're very playful, you know. Well, I'm glad you, I wish you had called earlier when we were discussing otters. <laughs> I guess those would be sea otters, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, what are the, are there other otters besides sea otters? Are there river Otherwise otters? Otherwise known river, as whale. River otters. Uh-huh. Otherwise known as whale bait. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Large uh, whales are the otters. Well, do they eat? Do they? Are they carnivores? Are uh, whales carnivores? Well, uh, killer no, whales. Are. Eat killer plant. whales are. Well, I thought that killer they just, whales. Are. I just thought that they just went along and just ate lots of fish all at one time. You know. Uh, well, uh, humpbacks. The orcas uh, oh, will. They go for the Wait sardine. Minute, don't say humpback. I don't want to get demonetized. Uh, okay. Humpback whales uh, okay. go for sardines. What they do is they're, yeah. they're, uh, there's, you know, they're, mm-hmm. when they feed, they go down, they get them. And then and when the they big come problem, up, the big problem, you didn't say this, the big problem the killer whales have with those sardines is being able to get them out of the can. Yeah, <laughs> really. You know, keep the, on them. The, uh, and then uh, uh, there's, there's a whale, the largest whale. Uh, um, I forget what the name of it is, but it, it eats plankton, uh, and uh, that's the uh, uh, like kelp, isn't it? No, yes, yeah, he's thinking the of the krill. The, um, cr- what the hell is the name of that one? That's the big one. Yeah, the that's real the, big one that goes like gray whale. Gray whale. Well, uh, there's the gray, but there's also um, a whale shark. A whale shark. 
Uh, and and those can get extremely large. Hmm. Yeah, the orcas are the ones that eat the the seals and the porpoise and all. Well, that. why aren't we talking about whales being bad for the environment? <clears throat> uh, I mean, oh, they shut down all the crab fishing out here and the salmon fishing. Oh, they like to eat crab and, they, and wait, salmon. They, wait, hold on a second. They cut down all the sh all the crab fishing. Yeah, it's all shut down because yep. of the the migrations. Yeah. Too many entanglements. Well, they got the Mexicans well, coming well, in. Hold on a second. Uh, let me explain this to me. Uh, what, 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 what's the problem? They're they're not allowing any crabbing or salmon fishing. No, not allowing crabbing. That's going to put my wife out of business. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Mine too. Yeah. Um, but the uh, they shut it down for what about six months? I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think you're I right. Think just, while just while private. the whales migrate. So the whales, yeah, don't get tangled up in the pods and all that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's putting a lot of people in back dire on. straits. Wow. The last time they did it, they lost a lot of fishermen, and this time they're. So they're how long really are you going to be without Dungeons Crab? It sucks. Really? Yeah. yeah it's going to yeah. get expensive. Last time it got up, I think I bought two crabs, and it cost me like forty bucks. Oh, jeez! Yeah, oh, I remember when my parents used to go down to Fisherman's Wharf and buy two for five dollars. Yeah, yeah, and they, they didn't taste good at all. Oh, they tasted great. Oh, they yeah, we have them every Christmas, but this Christmas I bought two of them just for the heck my of it. My father on the way home. Frozen oh, too long and everything else. They were my nasty. Fa my father on the way home from San Francisco, a couple of days a week, would pick up about two Dungeness crabs all cracked up, you know, yep. and Parisian a, a bread. bottle of what he called Dago Red, you know, yep. wine, and uh, a, a, a sourdough French bread. Um, yep. And and we would just sit. That was dinner for us, and it was wonderful. You know. Yep. And we'd fry shrimp too. And you had to have the uh, cocktail uh, sauce. Not too long ago, I, I had some uh, Dungeness crab from Costco, and it was not expensive, and it was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, it I came down real fast. It's down oh. to a decent price now. So. Oh. Yeah. But now it's probably going to go back up again. Now, Charlie, tell us what happened to your electricity. It just went black all of a sudden. Hey, once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> well, luckily it did come back. Wait, it was out for about five minutes. Wow. And what was it caused by? Just the the weather. No, I, just, right? I thought we had these huge thunderstorms. I'll tell you right what now. it's caused by. Your stupid governor well, yeah. wouldn't buy his electricity from out of state. <laughs> Is that one? Yeah, the I thought they had their own grid. Your back. Wait, wait, hold on a second. What were you saying, Charlie? I, I thought they had their uh, own grid. I, 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 That's it. Yeah. yeah. And, and it is not the top of the line grid either. Yeah. That's why they, they every time the power goes out in Texas, they can't get it back immediately because they got to rely on their own grid because they <laughs> opted out of using other grids. And it's because of all those EVs charging. It, it's it. the yeah. state to go uh, to go uh, to lose their electricity. And now we'll give Phil one minute to tell us what he thinks about the Fox uh, Dominion. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, uh, Charlie and uh, not Charlie, uh, Tony and Alan both said uh, something that I thought was interesting that they fired Bongino this morning. I listened to him say that this was his last show and he was moving on and oh. and so forth. Who's that? Uh, Who's that? I have no and, idea. And Bongino. It is a show. Yeah, and I think they're firing a number of other Fox hosts. I never uh, heard of him. I guess I that's the reason. He was a uh, Secret Service I, agent I for Obama. I guess that's the reason why he can uh, uh, no, he let was, go. He was a secret he was a Secret Service agent for Obama. And I'm not talking about that, though. No, I, I'm t giving... I got a minute here. Yeah, Give me, well, okay, go ahead. Take your minute. He's got a minute. After so, that, he's going to have to shut up for the rest of the all right. show. Go ahead. So, because they had to pay out the 700 and some odd million uh, in fines, uh, Tony and Alan both thought that maybe they were laying off a number of these hosts to, uh, to save money. And uh, no, it makes no. sense to me. No. That, no. It, how, it, this, we're talking almost uh, $800 billion. I don't That's think nothing. that even all of the combined salaries of people at Fox even come close to that. It does, represent, it does represent 20% 20, 20 of their advertising revenue every year, however. 
what, oh, the, uh, the the cost of their uh, mm-hmm. of their host. And by the way, that isn't the last suit. There is now yeah. one uh, from uh, what was that? Smart, Smartmatic, I think. Uh, yeah, the, Smartmatic. Yeah. The Smartmatic. I thought they were going after the my pillow guy. Well, no, no, no wait, but they are. Yeah. They are. Yeah, he's going to be selling socks soon. The pillow guy. <laughs> my pillow guy yeah. got the. He got. Uh, he has to pay that five million dollars that he. Uh, oh, I thought it was a lot less than that. No, the five million dollars that he had put that challenge out to to yeah. debate the d- data that he had. Good. He said anybody that can prove that the data was junk, and some guy went out and did it in like a few hours. It's supposed to take two three months, and he went out and did it in a few hours and said it's all junk. And the court said you have to may you have to pay up that money. And right he on. still has the other lawsuit against him as well. Yeah. Boy, he better sell a lot of goddamn pillows. <laughs> He's going to be pillows. <laughs> you know. um, That's probably why he came out with uh, my pillow 2.0. Well, he has now my slippers. He has my, my slippers. My sandals. <laughs> well, tell him to give them back. This guy will sell He's got, he got, a, he's got <laughs> an F rating on his return policy at the BBB. I'm sure. oh, Judge Janine, one of the ones they let go? Oh, yeah, Judge Janine and Charlie's getting canned. Wow. Did she get canned? <laughs> She's an airhead, really. Come on, Phil. You know she's an idiot. Yeah, I no, like she, she's a moron. She's a real moron. He's Trump's and, uh, girl Bartolomo, uh, Maria Bartolomo, is she? That's uh, the money lady. Joey yeah, Lomo, a moron. <laughs> no, I, but but uh, they got rid of Piro. Good. I'm glad. Yeah, they're all going. They're all I'm going. A clean house. Well, I yep. think you know. I think that they, you know, the the, the only thing that bothered me. I just said this last night, Phil, is that they allowed Fox to get off without an apology. I wanted them to take the stand. That's, well, what, well, that's what you want, and that's for looky-loos like you and everybody else who would like to see those I guys get, see up, get up there. They, and, and uh, they had 785 million apologies. <laughs> that's true. They took a lot of money. Yeah, they took the short way. Nevertheless, I mean, people. I think it would have been nice to have an apology, have them admit they yeah. were wrong. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, I and they and they never person. they didn't they don't have to say that. In fact, they're saying quite the opposite. Oh, yeah. this has made even better people out of us, better uh, journalists out of us. Now, do you think that there could be a, a backfiring uh, because now uh, they uh, Fox got sued and lost this case that mm-hmm. other media outlets are going to be held to the to task or to the fire? No. Uh, well, he, uh, uh, who do you call? It? Uh, uh, the two others, uh, uh, OAN and Newsmax, are both being sued by not only Dominion, by also uh, uh, what he called Smartmatic. So, well, so they, they, those are way, those are suits waiting to happen. And they I say, understand. they say those suits may be just as strong. Uh, and uh, you know, so I mean, uh, somebody's going to be people are being called to account. It's just mm-hmm. that. If you tuned in to Fox on, uh, I think, think the verdict came down, they decided to do that on Tuesday. Uh, if you tuned in to Fox later on Tuesday, do you think there was any news about the finalization of this case? Nothing. Nothing. Zero. Zero. Not even on the website. Not even on the website. Well, so my point is that uh, this kind of uh, 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 thing because uh, you know the media usually uh, went in and said well this is a first amendment thing and they were very very protective over the years of uh, of, of stories and uh, now by suing the right wing uh, uh, news sources this could turn around and the left wing news sources could also be I think they should uh, all be held responsible they do for in the future it. but they haven't yeah, done I- they haven't done anything this this libelous no. But yeah. it opens the door. No, uh, it, uh, yeah, it's if they, if they blatantly know is false, yeah, then they should be. Well, it, well, they hey, should be we knew that the Russia the same thing. Uh, we knew we know that the the Russia uh, thing was false. We know that there was a lot of things that were false. What Russia, this thing? Russia, thing, wasn't what wasn't Russia thing was false. And by the way, here's what I don't get. Have you seen the latest? The Republicans are trying to vote against money going to Ukraine. Meaning that the Republican Party is now standing up for Russia. Yes. Uh, you're in yeah. uh, no. They, 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 that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, 
Well, because uh, I don't know why, you know, uh, I, I guess it's, I don't know why I, I'd be speaking. It's out because of they're pricks, Phil. Uh, you oh, excuse me, I just got demonetized. Uh, <laughs> what, for saying Phil's name? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, I could bring the little rabbit back out. You had a rabbit? Stuffed rabbit, it's cute. You'll, you won't get demonetized for that. Well, you just, you just stealing pull a me. rabbit out of a you're just, Mac. You're just stealing my bit from Channel Twenty when I was Captain UHF. Oh yeah, that's and, true. And I have my what? hand puppet, Mister Mister Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I forgot about that. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, this is the. Uh, you just, oh, you got it. There it is. Do you want me to pull have mine out here and hold oh, it up? I'm thinking of computer mode. They can, uh, do you we really have one, one, Alex? Or are you? By just, the way, if I held it up, here, about mine. if I held it up here. It would look yeah. exactly like yours. So what's the yeah, but the mine's only faster. Like, yes, mine's you, but, faster. but yours isn't twice as fast, and you paid twice as much money. <laughs> you wasted twice. your money. Go online to YouTube. People are constantly doing YouTubes about buy the Max, don't buy the Ultra. Well, uh, I'm You wasted thinking. your money, Phil. Why don't you listen to me next time? Uh What's I spent a thousand bucks more than you did? No, you didn't. You spent you spent wow. like twenty nine, twenty eight hundred. No, 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 I spent twenty. Oh, you got you got the uh, the uh, the one that you had to crank up. Yeah, that that's the one. Yeah, <laughs> like a Model T. That's right. What did, what that's did right. yours cost, Alex? What did yours cost, Phil? My co mine cost about uh, twenty five, twenty six tops. I yeah. think mine was forty. No, yours was five something. I got five hundred off for uh, Playboo uh, credit card. <laughs> Playboo, boy, he's a sucker for everything. That's the B B and H credit card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but th those sons of guns, they didn't ship it until the thirteenth. I paid for it on the fourteenth. We don't want to hear about your problems with this, Phil. It's not interesting. Uh, it lowered my. Um, uh, not FICO. It lowered my what's that credit karma thing? Vantage score by twenty five points. Why? Because, oh. Well, the Playboo card only had a ten thousand dollar limit, and I used five thousand of it. So uh, it and and within one day they they went online. It shipped. I I saw is, is the everybody bill. is everybody excited about hearing about this? How many want to hear more about it? Oh, Let's get back to talking We're about otters. Screwed. Okay, otters. Yeah, really. Show's yeah. over with. Time to play the music. No. Oh, it is almost. I got a minute left. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, thank God. Only a minute <laughs> left. Oh. Yeah. And hey. by the way, Wayne, say something. Yeah. Say something. Uh, got any new lenses, Phil? Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. By the way, that is, I, I, I think there's a recession going on out there. I might have to be careful <laughs> for a little while. I, I bought this thing. I'm not that happy with it, oddly enough. Oh, the Sony? Yeah, the Sony. It's it's good. It takes beautiful pictures, but the sta stabilization doesn't work well. So I bought a whole rig for it. But uh, uh, you look at lenses, the cost of lenses. Yeah. They are. But, man, they're, the price is massive on lenses. You know, I look, I want this lens, 1500 bucks. Ooh, that wow. sort of thing. For a $1,000 camera. For, for yeah, a $1,000 but... camera, you put on a $1,500 lens, you know. Yeah, but your camera... Do, uh, like like and, and, right? and ink. That's how they oh, work. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, so, there we go. There's the theme. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. I can't hear it. Huh? I can dance to it. Well, I'm wondering why you guys can't hear it. <laughs> oh, I can't hear it either. Don't, don't that's, hear it, yeah. That's strange. That's very we interesting. You used to, but... Yeah, we used to. Hmm. Oh, you know something? I'll, I'll figure out... I think I know why. Maybe. But mix it, minus. It, 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 no, no, it isn't a matter of mix minus. It's a matter of, oh, I don't know, something like, where's the theme going? There's the music there. Uh, can you hear it now at all? No. You can't no. hear it now. Uh... Can you hear it? Want me to sing? Nah, yeah, forget <laughs> it. I'll figure it out later. I left my heart in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, that's it. That's it for tonight, folks. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Alan, for joining us. Tony, good seeing you here. Kevin, wonderful. Phil Meyer, glad to have you here. Wayne, 
and also uh, Charlie Wallace. Uh, glad, glad to have you here, in spite of the fact that there was a thunderstorm out there. Yeah. Anyway, stay yeah. safe, and everybody, uh, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a wave goodbye back at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Good little show, fun little show, just a lot of laughs and things like that going on. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with The Intersection. He'll take your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I will see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.